When selling licenses for your commercial work through Adobe Stock, any content featuring recognizable people or property must be submitted with a signed model or property release. While Adobe Stock does offer a no-touch option via Adobe Sign, you might prefer to use a hand sign release such as the Adobe Stock release available for download through the Contributor Portal, or an alternative option such as those offered through applications like Easy Release. Hi, I am Adobe Stock Artist Evangelist Matt Hayward, and in this video I'm going to show you where to download the Adobe Stock release and how to attach that release to your stock content before submitting it for review. Okay, we're in the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal. We're in the Uploaded Files section in the subcategory for New. These are new images that I've uploaded to the Contributor Portal but haven't yet submitted them. So in addition to adding a category, a title, and relevant keywords, I need to let the system know if there are recognizable people or property. If there are, if I answer yes to this question, I need to attach a model release or a property release. And so there are a couple of ways I can do that. If I've already worked with this model before, which I have in this particular case, I can click search for an existing release, and then we'll get a drop down menu. It shows all of my active releases. I can click that release and attach it to this image before I submit it. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to pretend like I've never worked with this model before. I'm going to click create a new release. From here, I can download the Adobe Stock model release if I want to go ahead and use a paper release. Other options would be the easy release application or uh, doing a digital release through Adobe Sign, which I've got another tutorial talking about how to do that. In this case, here's the Adobe Stock paper release. You can print this out, print and sign your name as the photographer. The model needs to print and sign his or her name, and a witness is also required for that. You then need to create a JPEG copy of that release, and we're going to upload it to the portal. And so for this image, I'm going to go ahead and name the release Sophie Release. There needs to be at least five characters in the name. For example, my name is Matt with just one T. I can't do just M-A-T as the name of my release. I would need to put my last name Hayward or go Matthew or whatever. So you need five characters. I've got it named and now I'm going to click the attach button. At this point in time, I'm going to navigate to the folder where I've kept the JPEG copy of my release. I'm going to go ahead and select it, hit open, and voila, that release has now been uploaded to the Contributor Portal. It is attached to that image, and once I finish the indexing process, I can go ahead and submit it. You can tell it successfully was added by this little icon over here just under the thumbnail preview shows there's one release there. So now you know how many releases have been attached to that file, and you can go ahead and submit it. 